Hi, did you just finish your book? The library is closed, but don't worry, you have access to a wide variety of books at your fingertips, either on your smartphone or your tablet. There are three different apps that you can choose from. You're going to download those in your app store. You have RV Digital, Overdrive, or Libby. Today I'm going to share with you Libby because I think it is the most user friendly. If you are new to Libby, this video is for you. If you've been a user and you want to find some new tricks and settings, this video is also for you. So come with me as we explore Libby. Once you have it downloaded, you are going to need your library card. There is the Libby app. And we're going to click on it and it will bring you up to the home page. As you can see, the big library read is going on. This book you can read and join us for an online book discussion. Then it scrolls up and gives you a variety of options to choose from. Up in the top corner, you can search for a book by title or author. You can also hit explore, which will bring you up to a page with what's available, guides for teens and kids. My favorite button here is preferences. If we hit preferences, you can change the format. So I prefer audiobooks. You can change the audience that you want to read, choose from, and my favorite is available now. You, or you can choose everything, but then you might have to put something on hold. All right, so we can apply those preferences and see what's available. And we can continue looking at over 170 titles with those preferences set. Now, down here at the bottom corner, it says shelf. This will take you to what you have currently checked out. As you can tell, there are picture books that are on ebooks. A couple fun settings. If up here in the top corner there's three little lines, we're going to click on one of those. And the reading settings. You can change how big the text is, you can change the lighting in the background. And really important down here, you can change how the font is displayed. So you can change it to a more legible font. You can change it to open dyslexic, which is really nice that it gives more availability. All right, another fun feature, especially for our middle readers, kids that are just beginning to read on their own. We can click that three line button again and it pulls up narration. This allows the kids to read along with a narrator. One more thing is audiobooks. My personal favorite. I listen to audiobooks all the time. And a tip for anyone that's listening to audiobooks, you can change the speed up here. This little button here. You can change it to 1.75, and if you keep hitting it, it goes faster or slower. So, I hope that this video helps you. If you have any questions about the Libby app or digital books, please feel free to comment or send us a private message, and one of our library staff will assist you. All right, stay safe.